had an embarrassing incident that was worthy of one of your incidents, I believe. Oh, really? So, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> well, okay. I'll, I'll paint the picture. I was in a health food shop, kind of like a health food. Yep, a, a, a bulk food place where yep. they have excellent Turkish bread. Right? Yes, that's why you went there. I went there, right? And so I'm getting the Turkish getting lunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And put some, you know, hummus. Some, I don't know, cheese, tomato, whatever you want. Yep, bit nice. Of, bit of meat. Yep. Been getting into sliced chicken lately from the deli. <laughs> sliced chicken's good. Oh, I love a bit of sliced processed chicken. But oh, I, you like I, I like the processed stuff. Yeah. I don't think it's good for you, but it's nice. Anyway, so I'm, I'm having problems getting it out of the shelf or whatever. So I'm leaning back. I'm leaning against something. And then I feel this kind of really weird sensation like uh-huh. it's raining on me. No. I turn around and I've backed up against a grain dispenser oh, and it's and pouring on my back. <laughs> At the and health food Yeah, yeah, fantastic. yeah, yeah. And it's like, and they were, they were oats, so, but they're were, they were called grit oats, so tiny little oats. <laughs> and so I didn't know what to do, so I stood there with my hands catching it. So you opened it and couldn't close it? I couldn't, I didn't know how to close it. And then this, this woman, another shopper said, oh, here's a bag. She could see, she was laughing. So I put the bag under it and then I pushed the plastic thing that I'd backed into and then I had this bag of oats. Oats. We, did you feel obliged to buy the bag of oats? Oh, I put it on the shelf, and then I thought, no, I don't. Was there oats all over the floor? Oh, all over the floor. And no one, no one came. No one. It was a big shop because people in in health food shops would be quite forgiving, I think. Would yeah, you? that'd be hippie kind of types. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I, look, and so then I just I, don't tell me you just ran out of there. No, no, no. So oh. I've got my bread, and I got a few other things, and I went to the counter, and the woman said, "Oh, that's a small bag of oats." I'm like, "Yeah, I can." So, so I bought my bag of grit oats, which I. I didn't have, but you didn't go. Did you offer to clean up? No, I. I said. Oh, I lent on the shed. I. She didn't even care. Like, I, it's a big shop that with about, I reckon about eight employees at any time. You know what I mean? There's a lot of. It's not like a mum. And, and how big was the mess? The uh, of oats. Oh, it was a bowlful, normal bowlful. Oh. Would it be a Kellogg's <laughs> a box was, of Kellogg's? Four? Yeah, half a box. Half but a box it, of Kellogg's. Like they're tiny; they are everywhere. But I assume it's happened. Bef- must have. Ha- I think she sort of said, "Oh, it's happened before," because you know it's in a bad spot. Oh god, it was a weird well, sensation having something it, like that pouring on your back. You didn't know oh, what it was. I didn't know what it was. Oh god, they, they, this is traumatizing for you. Well, you know, I felt like I was in a silo, and the grain was pouring on me, and yep. I was going to suffocate in the well, silo. Yep, there you go. Because that happens. You should sue them. I should. I should have slipped over. I should have slipped over and said, "I." The, it came out, and I've slipped on oats. And you stand up in court and yeah. say, uh, "It was an oat incident." Yeah, the oat incident. And then yeah. I drive past it when it's closed down because I've sent them bankrupt. Yeah, but it's a, it's a movie. It's a telly movie that you well, can write and star in. You know that whole uh, falling in a silo of grain. Is, you know that yeah, happens uh, quite often. No, it doesn't because. My friend Bradley Hume, you know Bradley used to be a producer and yes, actor. Yes, yes. Uh, he did an ad. I remember seeing the ad about falling in a silo full of grain. Because yeah. once you go down, you can't get out. You've got nothing to you grab a hold of. You can't get out. And you you dig yourself in like 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 quicksand. So he did an ad where he fell into the silo. Yeah. And he said to the guy, the ad person or whatever, gee, this, this must happen a lot. And the guy goes, no, nah, about every five years. So they made an ad like... For something that happens but once I think every I remember five that years, ad. yeah, yeah, it was on a lot. And how would you fall in? I don't the- know why we saw it. We're living in the city. We, we're not hanging out in grain silos. No, but in the country, yeah, people do fall in them. Yeah, I wonder. How, yeah, I mean, I guess if you were just leaning over to, if you dropped your your watch or something, or you dropped, or something, kids being stupid and getting in there, leaning over. Hey, around. look at me, everybody! Don't fall back. Oh, I'm oh, in the grain. The yeah. grain silo. Oh, but you're, I can see you're traumatized. You're, what's going to happen is you probably mm. won't be able to eat oats or porridge or anything for quite some time now. Well, I don't really eat it anyway. I'm not did, a big fan. Did you of take porridge. it home? Did the other anyone eat it? I've got it there at home. I eat it twice a day. Oh, you love it, don't you? I love it. So, wh- hang on. When do you eat it? I have it for breakfast, and then sometimes at night I will sprinkle it on some fruit or something. Oats, just, just to make it like a bit more like raw hard. raw oats. Yep. Or yeah, I like raw the oats. I like the two minute ones. Wow, and I like raw oats. And you like oat milk too, don't you? I like oat milk. And you should be the. I oat- should. I should be the oat man. I should be the oat. Uh, the, the oat. Uh, the, uh, there's the oat guy. Yeah, I could be. I could come up with a character. Yeah, to I'm promote the, oats. Yeah, like you got all oats on your face, like a bad. Yeah, no, that's a bad look. You don't want that. I often do get little bits of oat caught on my beard, and it's very embarrassing. Yeah. You need to, at my age, you need to check the mirror before you walk out the door, and I forget to check it sometimes. Oats are good for you, aren't they? 
Well, they're good for you, roughage. You just think of Quakers, don't you? Because you have those Quaker roads. And then I read something on... The, oh, now they're saying that some heart specialist says it's bad for you. You go, don't say no. that. That's the very thing that I'm told that I should be eating. I... When you look at it, they're so not processed or they're just like grain, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I get the cholesterol one. It's got some other little thing in it and it's good for your, for your yeah. BLCDs or your PLBs. Or maybe, your- maybe you should move to all brand. Well, that's number one. Mum went through a phase where she would sprinkle it on her Cocoa Pops. Oh, the worst. <laughs> sprinkle all sprinkle brand all- on yeah. <laughs> A phase. <laughs> well, you know, if they brought out hmm. Cocoa Pops, now, all he, brand Cocoa Pops. No, this, remember we used to bring out products right. years ago on, uh, um, we'd say, right. like the, what was it, Flat Balls, flat stuff balls. like that. Yep. We should bring out mm. like a Cocoa Pop yep. with, on the bottom, a hint of All Brand. Oh, wow. With a handful of All Brand. handful of All Brand. Yeah, and then you're getting the thrill of the Cocoa Pop with the, with the, the, with fiber, the good fiber, the good fiber. fiber uh, thing. Your mum was onto something there. Because the whole bowl of All Brand, not pleasant. Whoa. Whole bowl of Cocoa Pops. Not good. Um, yeah, because I think in the seventies, mum, similar to Kira, my partner's mum went through a similar thing too, where they were, all went on Pritikin diet. Oh yeah, in the seventies or the eighties, yeah. and all of a sudden you're eating very okay, healthy uh, raw stuff. How do you get your fiber? Oh, <laughs> stick it. <up. laughs> I should eat more fiber. I will eat fruit. That's well, fiber. that's good fiber. I yeah. eat an apple every day. Yeah, some people buy the, buy their fiber at the at the chemist, which you know, oh, Metamucil, or Metamucil. Something. I oh. mean, it does work, but I would rather get it in the product in the well, in the well, natural well, way. I probably need more fiber. Well, I eat vegetables. I love vegetables, um, but like cooked, like broccoli. What else should I eat? Well, if you're eating broccoli, you get you've got it covered. Oh really? Oh yeah, I reckon. Is that if fiber? You're eating, yeah, yeah, yeah. I eat it because I love it. It's sustained energy relief throughout the day. Oh always. yeah, yeah. But I reckon eggs are probably the best thing to have at breakfast because they've got the protein. Because if you have eggs, you don't get hungry. But you, yeah. Have, oh, so I get hungry about eleven thirty. Yeah. You know. I do like egg. I have an omelette. I make an omelette. I hope people are making notes because this is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have the music, Courtney. <laughs> Welcome to Somehow Related Now. Please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Anyway, welcome to the podcast. Here we are, Somehow Related. Somehow uh, Related. We're back again, and we get, uh, you know, it's easy. We get two topics. Got to work out how uh, Not easy. It. For some people, it's easy. For mm. us, we work hard at trying to, you know, mm. we, we the, the, there's clues. Is there some mm. hidden clue in what, where we're going? Who knows? I mean, one day there'll be a GPS. Because, I mean, if you're at home now, if you want to, mm. if you want to, you could Google the two topics when they, as soon as they come up and you'll probably yeah. get the answer. Yeah. But we don't do that. We could do, we could do it while we're doing the show, but we don't. I do secretly. Sometimes when we go to the toilet and come back. When, I go, when I'm in the toilet, you have a look. Well, who's... I don't, but one of my friends was telling me, when I was in Adelaide, they were telling me, tell this story, they go to trivia every week in a pub, and one of their friends has got a smartwatch, and it's so obvious that they're cheating, they go, so the smartwatch picks up things like an iPhone, and they go, and the, and the trivia guy goes, okay, what song is this? And they play a song, and, and the person leads into their watch and goes, I wonder what song this is. <laughs> Oh, God. Good on them. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they look at their watch. Oh, that's Duran Duran Girls on Film. That'd be Duran Duran Girls on Film, I reckon. Well done. Oh, you guys are good. But there would be a little level of pleasure that you would get from the fact that you, you were. Yeah, you shouldn't cheat. Oh, anyway, look, we haven't got our topics. What are the topics? NASA and littering. Oh, yeah, NASA. NASA. Wouldn't you love to go? I talked to my kids about this. Wouldn't you love to go to Cape Canaveral and see a rocket ship go Florida? Up? Florida. Florida. See a rocket ship go up? You would, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, I'd love that. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I want to go and see one of uh, Elon Musk ones because they always seem to crash, even though they're, they're, a, bit, they're a bit, you know, a bit Krakenite here. They're, yeah. They're, they're not that impressive. And there's not that big, you know, balloon of smoke yeah. and stuff. And, uh, I'd still like to go. I'd settle for a satellite. India set up. China. I'll go there and see one of theirs go off. Because you know I was into rockets as a kid. I was in the model rocket club. <laughs> we had a model rocket club in Forest Hill. We used to go to meetings and stuff. And what would you do? Talk about model rockets, and then we have days where we'd send them up. And what would they? Would they go up in the air and come back down again? Yeah, they had parachutes. Oh, they and you'd great. build them or buy them? 
You'd build them, buy them as a kit, like a model airplane kit, and then build them and then shoot them up. Oh, that were great. Fantastic. We had a rocket building thing at school where we, we had to build them out of balsa wood. Uh, last week, we talked about carbonated yeah, water. water. We had to, you know those little carbonated bottles? Yeah. We had to, we had to put a little carbonated bottle in, yes. the, in a, and they connected to a bit of string between the, and the netball court. And they put a bit of string there and you connected up your rocket. And Farrell McKay's went so fast, it smashed at the other end. Whoa. I don't think mine made it very far. Mine wasn't very well. Well, these were like dry fuel, like a gunpowder that you'd have to buy the engines. And, and they, wh- so they wouldn't set off with a wick. You'd get like a uh, a fuse kind of thing you'd put in there, a bit of wire that attached to batteries, and you'd hit a button. Could you reuse it? No, no. No, you could reuse the rocket, but you couldn't reuse the engine. No. Oh, oh really? Yeah. 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 Because I know when we, I did the what was up a little bogan. bogan. We watched that whole series the other night. It was great. When they use the drag cars, they actually call it a rocket launch. Yeah, because right. they I, they can only do one and then they've got to re- rebuild the motor. Was it noisy? Oh, my God. Yeah, the noise is And incredible. it shook. Oh, I think I've told the story before. It shook like, like you couldn't control yourself downstairs. Oh, really? No, you didn't get in the race. Did you, did you get in the car? <laughs> I don't think you got in the car at any point. I got in the car and revved it. But uh, but it was your character didn't drive them. They had an incident. He didn't. He, he got blinded yeah, in one eye. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they call that a rocket launch, and I'm not surprised that your engines yeah. didn't. You know. Um, See, they're good fun. What does NASA stand for? Uh, I always get this wrong. This was a question Nautical. in a trivia competition I had to host once, and there was big arguments about it. National Aeronautical Society Association. No, Would what be is it? space. Oh, National Aeronautical Space, Space Association. Academy. Academy. Admi- administration. I think you got it right. Administration. Yep. NASA. Yeah. NASA. NASA. There's a whole there's a whole um thing about NASA. If you isn't there? if you went to NASA, would they have a would they have a uh, merchandise shop, do you reckon? Yeah. Would you buy something with it? Would yeah. You, would you walk around with a hat with NASA written on it? Yeah. You I don't really wear hats, but um, would you wear a t-shirt. would you wear a ja- would you wear a t shirt with NASA on it? Yeah, my kids have got NASA T shirts. But what about you? If I saw you with a NASA T-shirt, I'd go, you're a dickhead. Because <laughs> you, I would go, deeply he wants to be an astronaut, right. and he's not going to be. Oh, he comes no. NASA day. Don't start him on his trip to NASA. Oh, God, he'll bore the shit out of you. Oh. What was the name of the first? Leica. Was it? That's the dog. Oh, I was going to say the first ship they sent up. Wasn't it Sputnik? Oh yeah, the Russians. Yeah, in the space race. Sorry, is that the? Oh, it was Sputnik oh, was the satellite? Ah, Sputnik was the Russian one. Uh. Over the years, they put up so many animals up there. Which? Why didn't the RSPCA get involved? I <laughs> know. Oh, How Monkeys. cruel is that? Yeah, well, Laika was like a street dog that they just got How off the streets. How cruel is that? I mean, and they, oh, it's only a dog because we want to test it. So poor humans in there. Remember poor we, dog down the park. Has a shit, runs around, <laughs> and he goes, oh, guess no, what? No, but Laika was a street dog. He was like a feral dog, and he, he got to go into space. Yeah, but did it's he, not bad. In confined space, and I, did he come back? We, You know what? We were talking about this last night, and I, funny, at dinner, and I can't, and one of my sons looked it up, but I can't remember if he came back, Laika. Remember, uh, maybe I was on another podcast I did, and we were talking about, you know how everyone goes on about first world problems and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and third world problems? I said, what about second world problems? Because, you know, second world problems, the second world is the Soviet Union and Soviet states. Right. So we're in the first world, right? Yeah. America, Australia, England, yep. Europe, that's yep. first world. Yep. Third world is Africa, you know, South America. Yep. Um, and second world is the Soviet Union. And I said, what about second world problems? You know, like, um, yeah, yeah. oh, they stole my dog and put it in a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> I had to line up for four hours for a loaf of bread. Oh, second world problems. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that terminology yeah. before. My dad got poisoned because he, he said something bad about, <laughs> what's his name? Oh, second world problems. So NASA is where they build the rockets. Yeah. And they launch the rockets. Yeah. They put them on a thing. They drive them down a road, and then they mm, send, uh, it send it up. And they put, and then they have the control. They have the. Well, um, I reckon they're going back to the moon. They're going to go back to the moon. What's the point of that, really? Well, no, there's valuable minerals on there that you can mine. And really? Yeah, yeah. I talked about this. I did not believe it because these politicians in America kept saying, I want more moon exploration because there's a valuable mineral that you can get or gas or something from the moon that they can use on Earth. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. You know what will happen. You'll throw the moon out of its whack and all of a sudden we'll all go nuts. Oh, and your, your ocean swimming will be all up. Well, you know, because, you know, we, we all live in... We, the, the gravitational pull of the moon does have an effect on us. Yeah. You know, and they're going to start digging it up. Typical humans. 
Oh, yeah. Typical. Well, well, the full moon thing is a thing definitely on a Saturday night. If you yeah. get a full moon on a Saturday yeah, night. you talk to people who work in hospitals. Yeah, yeah. police yeah. stations. They yeah. get more people coming in. Because the gravitational pull pulls you, all your emotions out of whack. And Well, that's what, uh, you know. Wickety whack. Wicky, yeah. Um, Wicky. Well, what else can we say about NASA? Uh, what, are, what, are they, NASA. what are they train you there? I remember that film, The Right Stuff. Oh, it's great. Great film. Great. What? Okay, what are the movies about, you know, going to space? Uh, well, there was Capricorn One, which was conspiracy one. Yeah, yeah, they went to Mars on that. Oh, that's and then, great. And that they, was great. Yeah, yeah. They said they all died, but they faked it. And they remember they had their funeral and they came running up while people were <laughs> the, the astronauts turned up at the, their own funeral. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Apollo Thirteen, the yeah. movie with Tom Hanks, yeah, two thousand one. Was it? Was like the moon had no atmosphere. That movie. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. Yeah, that's not my joke. What the dear shit? The Aussie movie? The Martian? Oh, The Martian was great. Wasn't it just him growing a whole lot of veggies? Oh, it was good. And then oh, I know you don't think. I've read the book. The book's great. You read the book? I read the book. Yeah. I'm not a big sci fi person, but there's a good book. What's his name? Yeah, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Uh, Interstellar? Interstellar, yes. That's good too. Right. Um, Gravity? Gravity's great too. I don't know. They're not really... Yeah, they're all space movies. I suppose they are, yeah. No, there's, yeah. Heaps, there's heaps of them. A bit of sci-fi. Is there any sci... There's Star sci- Wars. St- st- yeah, well, that's... Yeah, that's Star real. Trek. Yeah. Um, so... Are you Star Wars or Star Trek? <laughs> I'm more Star Wars, I think. Boldly go... Where no man's gone before. Oh, that's Star Trek. So remember that, remember that, that great that, sketch on... Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boldly... Go. They, had, they had Spock. I don't know. It must have been an American. No, I think it might have been Paul Hogan or... What about even? Oh God, I'm getting mixed up. Benny Hill, Kenny Everett, something like that. And they said, "I'm boldly go where no man's gone before." And then they walk into the ladies' toilet. <laughs> oh, shit, a good was, sketch. A good sketch. Not well, really. should we talk about littering? Littering. What? What are the great? I'm trying to think of the great campaign. Do the right thing. Do the oh, right thing. Do the right, right thing. thing. Do, do the, the right thing. thing. Because there was a time. I don't reckon that jingle was as good as. Like slip, slop, slap. Oh, slip. we've talked about Sid the Seagull before. Slip, slop, slap, slip on some sunscreen. But there was a period when littering was a very big thing. Yeah, the fifties like, and sixties. I mean, Mad Men. Remember, Mad Men. They go yeah. on that picnic and yep. they just leave all their crap. They just shake the blanket and leave all. The, and that was making a statement, really, wasn't it? About that period. Yeah, that, that people just you and you people would openly throw stuff out of car windows. And oh it was yeah, kind of like it was a given. Yeah. It was going, oh, yeah, someone else will pick it up. Yeah. And littering, then it became a very big thing. And the, and the resp- 70s. Se- 70s was, do the right thing, was it? It's late 70s, 80s. Yeah. Maybe early big. 80s. Yeah. Because remember, remember they had the woman on the beach smoking and she put the cigarette and the and guy he, says. He repeat, uh, she, yeah. And he said, oh, and she said, oh, it'll decompose. Well, you know, oh, I suppose it'll decompose. Well, I, I remember seeing one that you could not show today. It was a guy sunbaking in the nude on the beach. Yeah. woman walks down the sand dunes with a bottle, drinking from it, and gets up towards the guy, drinks from the bottle and throws the bottle next to him. And then they go, because the guy was admiring her hmm. while he was in the nude, and then he goes, and the voiceover goes, this, wo- this woman is a pig. And they, they turn her into a pig. <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear that is true. Wow. Different times. You man. can show it now. You get fined for littering. And so and, you should. Yeah. I remember I got f- upset with a friend of mine and took him for a walk down the beach one day and he flicked his cigarette butt into, oh, a, into a rock pool. Oh, good. And I went, don't do that. No. I remember getting quite angry, but then they're going, well, I guess I was probably right. You shouldn't do that. Of course no. You do it. What's that show? What, uh, War on Waste. Yeah, Craig. Craig Ru- Rucastle. Yeah, Rucastle. Very good show. Uh, not that I've seen that much of it, but... Um, I've seen the ads. The, the intent of it is, is very good. Yeah. But the whole plastic... I mean... There were a period there it was it was just hard to get people to put things in a bin. Yeah. Now it's hard to get people to put things in the right bin. Yes. There's so many different bins. How many bins have you got? Oh, hang on. Purple. Um, we got What's one, that great two. joke? Billy Styles does it. The um oh, I've got a purple one, a red one, a yellow one and a green one. I came home the other night and I, I thought I was pissed. I thought the wiggles were on my front lawn. <laughs> that's, that's a good joke. That's a good joke. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, I've got a purple one for glass. Yep. Uh, the red one's green one's normal. For the, yeah, green yeah, one for green yeah, waste yellow and one. yellow for recycling. Yeah, yeah I've got I think I've got blue for recycling, red for for landfill, green for you know what, and yeah. and, and we haven't got a purple one yet. 
You don't have a glass one yet. No, that go, must still goes into the blue hole. Oh, Bayside, yeah. Bayside, yeah. Bayside, you're going to get with it. Well, yeah. And then there's issues with recycling, though, because we just used to sell all our old plastic to oh, China. Terrible. And they've said, no, they don't want it anymore. What, they get, what did they do with it? They would recycle it or and, just put it in landfill. Who knows what happens? But they would they've b- said buy it. No. Or do we just give it to them or they would buy it? No, they would buy it, but then they said they don't want it anymore. Yeah, no thanks. Fill up your own backyard. Yeah, thanks for that. We've got enough plastic over here, guys. I mean, what disturbed me? I was in the Maldives. Okay, all right. All right. Whatever. Maldives, whatever. And I went, oh, look at that beautiful island. Can I get dropped off at that island? Mm. They dropped me off and it was pristine, the beach. Oh. Then I walked up in just above the sand line into the sand dunes. Uh, to meet the locals? Oh, no, it was no one on the island. And it was just plastic. It was so disturbing. Just plastic everywhere? Plastic bottles, plastic plastic everything, uh, and nappies. and, and uh, just It was just really, really sad. Yeah. Having said that, it was not that long after the tsunami. I think the tsunami might, tsunami. Have, been, might have had something to do with it. But mm. there's these big blocks oh, yeah, of, the, um, of the plastic. The plastic thing in the ocean. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Do they go in and get those out? They've tried to... They've got these all these inventions and stuff to get them out, to try and um, tackle them, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, it's so sad for what it does to the wildlife as bad. far as, you know, it's just, we are just plastic. Well, you know what? Yeah, you got to, it's like things like those little soy sauce things yep. in the gutter or in the street. You've got to put them in a bin because yep. they wash in the waterways down in the ocean. And then an animal will eat it uh, and then uh, that, uh, or a bird will eat it. And, they don't enjoy it. No. They, it looks shiny and stuff to them. They go, oh, this looks all right. Oh, what? Yeah, I mean, people oh. still, you still drive down the freeway sometimes and you just see a big pile of rubbish on the side of the freeway. Oh, no. You go, what, 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 oh, no. what, are you, what are you doing? Oh, it's someone else's problem, not my problem. No because, dumping here. Because nowadays we do have, um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, hard rubbish. Oh, hard rubbish. Hard, hard rubbish. And when, yeah. you, when you do your hard rubbish, do you put it out and go, oh, I wonder what's going to... Mm, let's have a look over there. Yeah. Unfortunately, in my area, you've got to book the hard rubbish now. They don't just do it on the same day. Do you do it all on the same day still? No, no, no. I book, I book it in. Yeah. yeah. You still drive to some areas and you'll see all the hard rubbish out on the same day. Uh, I think I prefer that. I think I prefer to have a designated day. I used to, uh, yeah, so therefore it's not like... So um, it gives you a bit of time and everyone's doing it. Yep. Like when you put out just your own hard rubbish, everyone comes and stares at it and goes through it. Goes, and, yeah, go. and then I get a bit offended they haven't uh, taken, taken yeah. it. Yeah, uh, this is a really some, good piece. Someone someone's take getting this. rid of their exercise bike. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, obviously, uh, Jeez, you someone's been drinking a lot. Oh, they've had a crack at home <laughs> brewing. Look at this. Uh, look. <laughs> Gary, what, have a look at this. Uh, Gee, oh, they're chucking that at all. They must be wealthy. <laughs> they're chucking an old chair out. Oh, you do feel bad chucking some stuff out, but you oh, go, yeah, well, yeah. you know what? Well, if you're you're welcome to it, and Have some it. sometimes you take it to the brotherhood, and they go, we don't want it. You go, that's fair enough. I know. It's pretty crappy. I know. I drove down to the Salvos, and I had this great. I think it was my nana's old table, like we've talked about the Laminex table, yeah. you know. And I had it in the back, and so I pull in to into the loading bay where you've got to bring the big stuff around. And I go around the back and I put the, pull down the boot. It was a station wagon. I pull down the back bit. And I'm pulling it out and the guy goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You're not, not dumping that here, buddy. We decide what gets oh. uh, given to us. And then he goes. Take that home. No, he goes, oh, that's, oh, no, that's all right. The hipsters all love that. Yeah, bring that up. We'll have that one. Oh, so you, they like the table. Yeah, but like he was doing all the, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, hey. Because <laughs> a lot of people just go, back it up. Fump, fump, fump. Out it goes. Yeah. Drive off. Got rid of some rubbish there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is there anything else we can say about... Oh, what about Clean Up Australia Day? That still goes. Remember that guy? Does that he, still happen? Ian? The one, what was his name? Oh, you you would have met him, surely. I went to a... Because uh, during... I went to Indonesia as well. I went to Bali after COVID. And they had a, a like a, a national cleanup. And it's so much... I don't know what it's like now. But it was so cleaned up. And we went to an island. And they just had this, this day where they cleaned up everything. Because mm. they, they were just... Just absolutely uh, punished it, by inundated, by, yeah, yeah by, by the tourism and and plastic. Mm. That it's just not destroyed, but it's it's just not clagged good. up their whole system. They had a big clean up period and it was great, but we still have um, clean up Australia Day, yeah. And that means you wander around and pick up. It's one day of the year, and they you do beaches and creeks and stuff I know, like that. Um, down the coast where I go, they have volunteers who do put on a green oh, vest yeah. and go out with a, one of those little pincher things. Good on them. Yeah, I interviewed a woman on the radio the other day on the ABC, and she's down Mornington Peninsula, and she spends all day, you know, cleaning up stuff because they, they you know, they got those machines like in Bondi and stuff. They get those big machines on the beach that yeah, clean, yeah, the, yeah, clean yeah, yeah. the beaches. Yeah, yeah. They've got one down there, and they're getting rid of it because they actually reckon 
it's shredding the plastic or something. It's got some. It's oh, there's, yeah, there, there is talk that there'll be you like you can have a layer of rock and you can have a layer of basalt or you can have a layer, whatever it is that there'll be an actual in time there'll be a layer of plastic. Uh, okay, so what thinking music can we have? Do the do the right thing, Ed. Oh, that'd be good. Do, do the, the right, right thing. thing. <laughs> the littering that scene. Oh, NASA. That that scene from Mad Men is just visual, isn't it? Yeah. We could have a scene from one of the movies. Houston, Houston we have a, have a problem. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Houston, we have a Why problem. Why don't we do a make believe? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Here's an idea. Mm -hmm. Why don't we do a make believe where NASA mm -hmm. is still American, but it's run by Australians? Yeah, right. You can be the guy who works the. Whether you like the oh, ground control, you can be ground control. Ground control and major. And I'll time. be on. I'll be on Apollo thirteen. You'll be the astronaut. Yeah. And you're in the rocket ship. Yeah. And yeah. but you're still on the landing pad. Still on the landing pad, and we're having a, having a chat. The launch pad. Uh, um, so play the tinkle tinkle. All right, here we go. This is Apollo Saturn launch control. At this time, the closeout crew has reported from the white room that they are in the last stages of clearing out the white room and making it ready for its retract position. T minus 20 seconds, T minus 20 seconds and counting. 17, guidance release, 15, 14, 13, 12. Ignition sequence has started. Ground control ready for takeoff in T minus five. Four, three, two. Whoa, 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 Apollo 14, is it? Yep. Yeah, we no. I can't see this written down in the book. We, we, when did you say we we meant well, to be taken uh, off? Uh, well, it's been planned for the last three months that we would be going into orbit around the moon. Whoa, and whoa, uh, whoa, is whoa, that whoa, not? Whoa, whoa, what? whoa! Look, it's Friday, mate. I got indoor cricket at three. What time is it now? Midday? Oh, that's going to be hard push, buddy. I don't know. We're, we're, can, can we do it? Oh, look, I suppose I could come back. We could do it. Maybe it's. Seven. Oh, I again. have warmed up the rockets. They are ready to go. Oxygen hey, is on, connected, and on, uh, we are on, strapped hang in. On, hang on, hang ready on. Ready to go. Tony's, Tony's, ha Tony's had the day off. Are you see his RDO. Uh, so right. Tony's got his RDO. It's just me in here. I've got indoor cricket at three, and now I'm thinking I've got a little ass at seven. So it is not not, not T minus five. Well, ground control. Little ass goes for a few hours. I suppose it could come back. How's Saturday looking for you? You, That's tomorrow. You want us to stay with engines primed uh, for liftoff at oh. T minus 24 hours? Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, well, that'll make me? it about midday. Look, oh no, I've got a bit of, I've got a Barbie on. Keeps having a Barbie because he's, um, he he's leaving NASA, so we've got a bit of a Barbie for him. So I've got to marinate the meat. That'll be about 11. Then I'm gonna go to the bottle shop. I've got to get a couple of bags of ice. Houston, we, we have a problem here because we cannot sit here uh, ready to go for 24 hours. Uh, I, I, could we do Is there anything else we could do? Well, what about Sunday? We could look at Sunday. Saturday night, I'm busy. I've got stuff on. Um, but we've got karaoke and the, the missus got a book club dinner, so I can't get away. Okay. So well, maybe what Sunday, except... Oh, yeah, I don't know. Sunday. Got to go to the market. Well, ground control, uh, there is one more thing I just need to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on there, Apollo 14. Give me Uber Eats delivery. Hang on a minute. What? Hey, oh. hey, oh. Phil, what button do I press? Is it the red one or the green one? Is it the what? The, the, what? I can't hear. I'll just... It's I'll just press. The red one. The what? The red, the green one. I'll press the green one. Ah! We have lift off! Man, we've got Uber Eats, it's all good! Oh, there it goes, look at it go. Oh, this is good, I'll make indoor cricket. All right. I had unstrapped! I'm floating in space! Good luck! <laughs> What's wow. what you ready to have for what was your Uber Eats? It was grilled. What a story. We were, I was there. Oh, I was right there. Yeah. Jeez, all the sound effects and everything. It's really good. Again, you know, we, we should send that to NASA and yeah. just let them use it as, send a, it as an space. example. Send the space to the yeah. aliens. Yeah. yeah. All right, what's your guess? Um, well, I reckon NASA yep. used satellites to track littering, maybe? I don't know. I reckon, and I reckon, I, I reckon some space junk came into a country and I reckon the country said it was littering. Oh, wow. Like Skylab. Remember Skylab in Perth? Yeah. In WA? I think that was it. 
I think I think oh, it, they got fined for littering. I oh, think, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I think they did. Oh, okay, what is the answer, Sam? A uh, fine imposed on NASA for littering Australia with debris from a crashing space station has finally been paid. The agency had apparently ignored the penalty when the U.S. Space Laboratory, Skylab, fell to the Earth in 1979. It scattered debris not only across the southern Indian Ocean, but also across sparsely populated areas in Western Australia. NASA was fined 400 Australian dollars for littering in Australia. Wow. So there you go. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Because you can imagine how much junk is out there in space. Oh, I read an article about in the New Yorker magazine, which I subscribe to. What? Have, have fun. Yeah, it's a great. It's a on your great... phone or do you get it delivered? No, I get it delivered. I love it. Does the postie come? Yeah, I love it. I love a magazine. I love a magazine. How many articles are you reading a oh, week in that? Do you I think th- that makes you slightly better than me. Okay. Have a guess what other comedian gets it delivered. There's two comedians that I know that get it delivered. Comedians. You won't know one of them, but you'll know one of them well. Two you know one of them well. It. You've worked with this guy. And my, how funny is this? To be, to my twin brother... He also gets it delivered. Yeah, I didn't that, even know that he was getting it delivered. We both get the new... For people that don't know, it's just like a magazine. It just has interesting articles in it. So and like is interviews. It, is it interview? Is it yeah. is it politically based or is it a little no, bit of... A little bit of politics. Opinion? Yeah, opinion. But also just a great article. Like as my friend, who you haven't guessed who it is yet, and you know him well, he said, I never thought I'd be interested in an, a, a thousand word article on deaths in elevators, but I read a whole article about... You know, the, the increasing amount of deaths in Husey. elevators. No, no. More um, bookish. Looks like a nerd. Yeah. Tony Martin. Yes. 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 Yeah. There we go. And another comedian, a, a great comedian called Daniel Muggleton. You would know him. No, was a know him. Sydney guy. He also gets it too. But so yeah, I reckon if you like a magazine and also like they have like they have like a big interview with like Jerry Seinfeld or... Have you got a... That. Why don't you just give me all your old copies? Yeah, I'll give you your copies. If you get a good... Have you kept them all? Yeah, I've got some. Do you want them? Because I know you, you'll just take them down, uh, drive out somewhere and dump them outside your car somewhere. So not only are you not littering, mm-hmm. you're doing a good thing by me. But let me tell you this one thing okay, before sure. we but go. That was a long road before we went. Before yes. we go, every one of these New Yorkers yep. has been in the toilet. Oh. <laughs> I, I, that is a deal breaker. No, thanks. You don't want it? I, I, would, I don't know. I, I, uh, I think I've actually given you some before with articles that you like. Uh-oh. Well, how about, getting, how about if how about, any golf ones? How about if you read one mm. not in the toilet? Mm. Can you and you go this would be good for Glenn. Can you t- not take it in the toilet? Okay, go, all right. Well, maybe just lie and say these haven't been. Okay, in the they haven't toilet. been in the toilet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but they have.